How are we doing YouTube? Nick Pratap here from Next Gen Rehab and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the medication metformin. Now with any of the medication videos I do, this is not meant to be medical advice. If you have any specific medication related questions, please bring those up with your family doctor. Now let's start off with what metformin is. So metformin is a medication that's prescribed to type 2 diabetics um, in an attempt to help regulate blood sugar levels. All right, So it has three main mechanisms of action. One is it acts specifically on the liver to reduce the secretion of blood sugar of sugar from the liver into the bloodstream, hence uh, regulating blood sugar levels. The second is it acts on the intestines, more specifically the small intestines, to reduce the reuptake of sugar. So hence your body's gonna go ahead and secrete more uh, sugar out of the body and regulate your blood sugar levels that way. And thirdly is the uh, increase in peripheral uptake of blood sugar. So uh, this medication is gonna increase the uh, receptors found throughout the cells in your body, and, uh, which is going to end up um, increasing insulin sensitivity and that's going to allow more sugar to be taken up from the bloodstream into the different cells in your body and that's going to help regulate blood sugar levels. All right, so those are the main mechanisms of action. What are the main side effects of this medication? Uh, one main side effect is um, feeling uh, bloated, uh, diarrhea, sometimes individuals may feel heartburn. So if you're feeling these uh, symptoms uh, regularly or they're coming up more frequently, definitely talk to your doctor because you may need to have this medication adjusted. And in terms of exercise, how does this impact uh, exercise? How does metformin impact exercise? So uh, generally speaking, there are no contraindications. Um, if you're an individual uh, that uh, you know is taking insulin or medications that uh, have a effect on increasing insulin secretion in your body, uh, that becomes a little bit more of a challenge because you know as we exercise blood sugar levels do tend to drop because we need sugar to maintain the muscles as we're exercising. And if you're taking insulin, that's also um, regulating blood sugar levels and dropping um, uh, sugar levels in your body, right? So uh, the concern with individuals taking insulin while exercising uh, or medications that uh, secrete more insulin is um, low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia, right? So some of the symptoms here include dizziness. Um, some patients may feel um, uh, confusion. Uh, fatigue. So if you're experiencing those things uh, and you're taking insulin, then yes, we're having you sit down, have a meal or, or sorry, have a snack, um, wait for the blood sugar levels to come up and we're okay to restart exercise after we uh, take your blood sugar levels, right? For patients on metformin, because metformin doesn't uh, specifically uh, cause insulin secretion in the body, generally speaking, we don't need to worry about this. The odd time if a patient pushes themselves a little bit too hard, then yeah, we're going to um, have them sit down, um, have a snack, recheck their blood sugar levels, as long as they're good, they're okay to continue exercise. But generally speaking, there are no major contraindications for exercise with patients taking metformin. The exercise prescription is the same as with uh, any uh, population. We want to try to get at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity exercise a week, right? So um, 150 minutes of moderate, about 75 minutes of vigorous in, uh, exercise uh, a week. So um, 150 minutes breaks down to 30 minutes a day, uh, roughly five times a week. If we're looking at uh, strength training, we wanna to try to promote resistance training, especially in patients with type two diabetes because the more lean muscle we can have in the body, the more sensitive your body becomes to insulin, right? If you have more lean muscle mass, you have um, increased storage sites to hold that extra blood sugar as uh, glycogen within the body. And this is gonna help regulate your blood sugar levels better. Um, so we promote or uh, we advise patients uh, to do a resistance training twice a week, uh, targeting the major muscles of the body. And lastly is speaking with a, a healthcare provider on diet, right? We un uh, understand that diet is a huge component, especially if you are diabetic, understanding which foods you should be eating, which foods um, you should be reducing in your diet to help naturally uh, regulate blood sugar levels. Okay, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, tag a friend or share this video with uh, someone you may find, uh, you think may find this video uh, useful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, let me know if there's any future videos you would like to see. Once again, this is Nick Pratap from Next Gen Rehabilitation. We'll see you in the next video.